Hello, Saturday the 27th of October 2018, 06.44 hours, only just for the summertime it ends tonight, not yet it ends Sunday morning, anyway, it's frosty, I think we've hit, okay it's autumn, but I think we've hit winter, right, okay, what's the plan for today, coffee, haircut, Malcolm uphill, Bus to Tree Forest, Rickard, and then the Otley Beer Fest, Autumn Variety. Yeah, see you later. So, the fuel prices in Morrison's and Capilli, 127.9, I think it's 126.9 in Sainsbury's and Ponty. I realise how expensive diesel was. Anyway, this way, the cost of coffee. Despite having the world's worst nose, I can smell the bacon, and it smells lovely, and the coffee. Breakfast. Well, I've beaten them to it. It's probably the weather. Emergency beer fast taken. Well, something different from the video. The uphill. The free house. And plants. There's an all-new carpet, and it's quite springy and nice, and apparently fifty-eight thousand pounds. Anyway, um, this is because you can't remember what it is. Hang on, I need a face ID. There we go. Blueberry Classic Bitter from Coach House Brewing. Five percent alcohol by volume. Pale and rather clear. I've got the sniffles. Yeah, I can smell the blueberries. Ooh, huge amount of blueberries and that sort of sweet fruity finish. Oh, quite strong. I like that. I'll have B plus in a bit. Good start. When I'm behind schedule, apparently Adrian had to defrost his car and Clive's in Cyprus. Okay, it's not quite. Oh, sun glow. There's a cold sun. Anyway, um, <coughs> Brewers Dozen, 5.5% alcohol by volume by Boosters, which I think is a lady brewer. This is an ESB. It's supposed to be spicy hops. 5.5. This is going to be. Guy behind the bar here. Really good. Knows his stuff. Improving the product. Oh, nice carpet. Oh yeah, spicy. Yeah. Hmm, B plus in a bit. Yeah. Very spicy. Well, not very spicy, but spicy forward. Was just very spicy, but there you go. Anyway, worth a punt. Forgot to mention, Mr. Manning, you love the carpet, sir. The carpet. Anyway, this is. Oh, hell. It's by Titanic. Um, bear with me. Got to sit my face in front of you. That didn't work. Got to override it with a password. Iron Curtain, Titanic, 6%. I had this before, but the guy behind the bar did me a deal. It's not actually on. Let's mark that down as a superior customer service. I don't know where it's my nose. There's not a great deal of aroma on it. That's nice. That's really nice. Getting chocolate and coffee and good notes. Not particularly full bodied, but really satisfying. B plus in a bit. Thank you. The forest. In the distance, that was my bus, the 120. USB charging and lights. It's all very pretty. 
it's still somewhat cold. The Rickard. Rickard. And Lucky. Real good, Mr. Manning. And this is because of the time. East Coast Screamer by Big Ones, 4% alcohol by volume. It is really good. Ooh. Coffee, lemony, secrecy. <laughs> Big plus in the bed. Yeah, no, it's good. There's some sort of beer festival in here. And the sun's out. Although it's chilly. So, it's not quite open yet. How close am I? He says. About two minutes. Maybe. Heidelberger October beer um, by Heidelberger Brewery. Heidelberger Brewery. And um, what are we looking at? 5.6% alcohol by volume. I wonder if it's diet. Nice bit of carb in here, Mr. Manning. Okay, the nose is. Cause that sounds like I know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeasty banana bubbly gum. Okay, malty, and then you get the sweetness. It's malty and sweet all the way through. I would say. D plus in a bit. We've gone uh, Danish. Because British bacon is Danish. This is Happy Nightmare Baby. 4.3% alcohol by volume. From Omega Drug Press. That's all the Danish I know. I'm reading that off the pump clip. And Murky. Nookie on keg, which I like. Oh, it smells hoppy. Oh, it's a fruit bomb. 4.3% is a fruit bomb. It's rather wonderful. That's a big class plus. That's off to the Danes. We like the Danes. Over a pint. Live tasting. Crystal beer factory. 4.4%. Unplanned thanks. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense actually. It looks a bit crazy outside. Anyway, this is cask. Mr. Manning. Excellent carpets. I'm getting fruity hops. Oh, this is fruity but sweet. And there's malt coming through. I'm thinking B plus in a bit. A lady who you once stuff on the main guns of an American battleship. <coughs> I think it's shit. Okay, um, there's chips here. There's a young collie waving. Um, brewing by numbers. From Walthamstow in South London. This is GTH Pale Ale. Number four. And it's I think it's 5.8% alcohol by volume, double dry hopped. It is. There's a wonderful hoppy aroma, a really good one. It's a fruit bomb. It's a. Oh. <laughs> B. 
Yeah. It's through the first and through the second and round the corner to the right. Yeah. Next time it's a job, don't you? Let me know when you the right left corner or just turn up the interview. Yeah. <laughs> Buxton SPA. I've been told I'm not loud enough on the videos. Oh. 4.1% alcohol by volume. Louder. 4.1% alcohol by volume. That's Mary. She's a producer. <laughs> Buxton Brewery, you can't beat them. Okay. Hoppy fruity. Hoppy fruity. <laughs> Lovely. A little bit thin. However, really nice. B plus plus. Oh, I recognize this truck. Anyway, this is Amarillo by Crutch Vale, 5% alcohol by volume. This will finish me off for the day. Amy. Ooh, nice hobby aroma. It's spicy actually. In fact, very spicy. Plus in a bit. 